Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 44. Today's lesson is on the science of species. I'm Ritrisha from GK Today and I'll be taking you through this. Firstly, reproductive isolation. Uh, reproductive isolation refers to various mechanisms by which different species cannot crossbreed among themselves or even if they crossbreed, they would produce infertile offsprings. Uh, this is an important phenomena because it defines the concept of a species. So in, uh, interreproducibility is one of the criterias of defining a species. This is what brings it to uh, for the forefront. Uh, so what are the things that uh, make this possible? Firstly, spatial isolation. If two populations are either at a great distance from each other or inhabit different parts of the same area, it is called spatial isolation. Geographical isolation. If there is a physical barrier between two species such as a water body, mountain, desert, desert and then it would prevent interbreeding uh, between them and the process of natural selection would occur independently on, the, on both sides. A common example would be Darwin's finches uh, which will come to soon enough. Ecological or habitat isolation. In this case the populations are not separated by great distances but occupy different habitats uh, in the same area. So brown bears and polar bears are a good example of habitat isolation. Temporal isolation uh, is when two species are ready to mate at different times. For example, one species might be active during the day and rather at night or they diff uh, mate in different seasons. Behavioral isolation. In some species, uh, there are certain courtship displays and rituals needed for mating. These include courtship calls, etc. If, uh, these might be very different for different species. Mechanical isolation, when mating is physically impossible because of incompatible genitalia, uh, such isolation is common in insects whereby the genitalia works like lock and key. Gametic isolation is when gametes, that is sperms and eggs, are unable to fuse and fertilize. Uh, apart from this, there is some post-mating mechanism as well, uh, like gametic motility, in this case, the sperm fails to fertilize the egg due to various reasons such as adverse climate that is in case of external fertilization or sperm death in female genital tract in case of uh, internal fertilization. Zygotic mortality uh, which is when egg and sperm have met and fused but the zygote dies without further development. Hybrid uh, unviability this is a post-zygotic barrier in which hybrid does not mature into a healthy and fit adult. The relatively low health of these hybrids in comparison to pure breed individuals would prevent gene flow between species. Hybrid sterility. In this case, the hybrids are sterile. Sterility is, the main, uh, sterility is mainly because of an incompatibility of chromosomes. Mules and hinnies, also likers, are uh, quite good examples. Hybrid uh, breakdown uh, is when hybrids are fertile but their progeny are abnormal. Uh, so interspecific hybrids of cotton are common example of hybrid breakdown. Next we come to sp a speciation. So speciation refers to the process by which different species emerge from a common ancestor. It generally begins when population of the same species become geographically isolated. For example, the, uh, they are separated by some physical barrier that disallows crossbreeding between individuals from one population and individuals of another. The basic theory is that spe uh, speciation is uh, a, uh, where groups are kept in geographical isolation for a long time, tend to accumulate different phenotypical or uh, uh, appearances, that is their appearances differ and uh, uh, by the means of generic variability, genetic variability like mutation and recombination and natural selection, uh, they look different from each other. So, speciation is considered to have occurred when they reach at a point where crossbreeding between these two groups become impossible. So, there are a couple of differences, uh, different types. So, adaptive convergence refers to a phenomenon in which living organisms that face similar environmental pressures or problems might incorporate similar solutions. Uh, 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल डिफरेंट स्पीशीज ऑफ फिश है सच सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर्स आर कॉल्ड एनलगस टू इच अदर अ कॉमन एग्जाम्पल इज यू नो समथिंग लाइक अ शार्क और अ डॉल्फिन देन देर इज अडेप्टिव रेडिएशन नो अडेप्टिव रेडिएशन इज वेन अ सिंगल एंडस्ट्रल फॉर्म डाइवर्सिफाइज इन टू सेवरल और मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स बिकॉज दिस स्प्रेड टू वेरियस रीजन्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंट्स वन एग्जाम्पल इज डॉविन्स फिंचस so the classic example is uh, when uh, darwin visited galapagos island during his five weeks there he noticed that finches differed from one island to another so on returning to england his speculation on the evolution deepened after experts informed him that these were separate species not just varieties and famously other differing uh, galapagos birds were all species of finches so all the 15 finches observed by darwin are thought to have been radiated from a common seed eating ancestor they occupy different ecological niches as well as habitat now uh, adaptive radiation is also common in marsupials and they're common in uh, mammals so around 65 million years ago at the end of the cretaceous period only few lineages of the eutherian uh, were present it is believed due to the vacuum created by the dis- disappearance of dinosaurs there was a rapid evolution of new mammalian types during the eocene and oligocene periods during uh, due to moving into different habitats and ecological niches this is how different kinds of mammals originated from common ancestor now uh, this theory also proposes that the primitive common ancestor might be a insect eater like a common shrew Uh, now organs of different species are said to be analogous when they have the same biological function like wings of bats and wings of insects organs of different species are called homologous when they have same biological origin or when they are products of different association of same characteristics of a common ancestor so four limbs of various vertebrates such as humans dogs birds etc are examples of homologous organs each of them has a different function they have similar bone structure and have that originated from the same embryonic tissue this is considered as an evidence for descent from a common ancestor that's all for this tutorial if you like this please subscribe to our youtube channel gk today until the next tutorial goodbye